So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add new trading robots to your EasyBot account. Now before I get started, I need to go over to my Binance account. And as you can see, I've got $1,200 in here. And uh, I've deposited uh, this much Bitcoin and I want to put that into USDT. It's so easy to do. If I scroll across here, it says convert. That will bring me to this screen. Got Bitcoin at the top and I'm going to choose uh, USDT down the bottom here. I'm going to do the max click preview and then convert so I'm going to get $330 worth of tether so come back over to my wallet that transaction's done and if you look there now I've got uh, $582 worth of tether which is the same as a dollar basically that I could start creating some new trading robots with these coins down here are trades that are open have not been closed yet so I've not made any profit on those yet because those trades are still open and uh, I'm going to use some of this funds here to create new robots. So adding a new robot could not be easier. It's so easy to do. Your grandmother can do it. Once you're logged into your EasyBot account, come up to these two dots here, go down to bots and then click on this one that says bots. And that will bring you to this page that you're on right now. As you can see, I've got eight bots here and I'm going to set up a new one. So I'm just going to click on there, add new bot. Now I will give my bot a name. I always give it the uh, the date. So it's the 5th of September. And I'm also going to pop in there the time so I get to see how that is. Now this next box here, fault configurations, you can leave that tick in if you're going to put in here $600 or more. Okay. Uh, if you want to put less than $600, you can do that, but I shall make a separate video on that. Then from this bit, we're going to choose the exchange. I've already connected my Binance. And then from this drop down, you've got all these coins. So how do you choose the coin? Well, I've got a little strategy that I like to do. And uh, basically in my uh, document here, and you can have a copy of this if you want it, just leave me a comment below the video. I've got these charts here and they're all linked to a chart on uh, Binance. So the first one is Sol. And then what I do is when I'm on there is I have a look at the chart. So let's just make this nice and big. Now you can see that this is at a down, a bit of sideways action, and it's having a pull down at the moment. So I quite like the look of that chart because it's dropped down and it's on a downward trend. So there is a chance that it's going to, you know, go back up again, down, back up, down, back up, which gives the bot a chance to earn some money. Now, I don't like to start a bot when you're on a, an uptrend, you know, so if you see a chart that has got it, it's gone up a bit. I don't like to start it, but you know, you can do whatever you like. As you can see, if you put your mouse in there, there's a sort of support level there. So this chart, actually, this could go down, back down to that support level. The Solana chart is looking interesting for me, but let's have a look at some more charts. We'll go to the next one, which is TRX. I'm logged into my Binance account, so these charts are open all right. Uh, if you're using KuCoin, obviously, then you'll need the KuCoin charts, and if you're using binance.us uh, i think these charts will still work you just need to change that com to us so let's let the chart load so again here i'm going to make it big and as you can see here we had this pump up we've uh, had a real drop down bit of uh, consolidation moving right now there is a downward trend here the support level I can see is somewhere around there. So this could go a long way down before it does. But I quite like the look of that chart as well. So let's have a look at the XRP. So again, this chart is looking interesting. It's got a bit of sideway action going there. And now it's having a bit of consolidation. It's not far away from the sort of support level. So this one, the XRP, I think I like the best. So far, this ADA is having a pump up. It's coming down a bit, so I'm going to watch that for a little bit longer before I decide on that one. I've got the dot one there. Uh, again, as you can see, I had a big drop off. Had some nice up and down movements here. It's in and upward, so I want to see this come down a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go with this one here, which is the XRP. So I come back over to EasyBot, and uh, what I'm going to do is choose XRP from the drop down here. There it is there, XRP. So below here is the uh, whether you're going to have it uh, do one trade and finish or whether you're going to have it cycle. I like it to cycle so it keeps trading and going. Here you've got active and inactive. Obviously, I want the bot to be active. 
Then I put in here the amount that I want to trade with. I'm just going to say $600. And then here I've got the tick in the box that says auto compounding. I want to do the auto compounding. And if I didn't want the auto compounding, I remove that tick and then I can take that out of there. But I don't. I want to keep that doing what it's going to do. So that's going to trade my first trade with uh, $20.34. Now, I want the trade to start immediately, so if I look at that one over here, it's going to make a trade on here, and we're going to see that in a moment. So then let's just go back to EasyBot, and we'll click Save. So there's my XRP bot. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here, because this one started on the 5th of September, and I want to update my document. Now, the first trade is going to be this $20.05. So I'm just going to copy that, double-click in there, paste that in there and at the moment I've made zero profit so I'm going to put a zero in there and uh, if we go over to the chart which is here you could see that that green arrow I don't know if you can see that let's just see if we can pull that chart across and make this a little bit clearer but hopefully you can see you've got that green arrow so it's made that first trade and if I hover my mouse over there it tells me that it bought 62 of the XRP at the rate of 32.35. 32.35. So the price right now is 32.36. So it's on its way up. So hopefully I've chose a good position for that bot to start trading. So if I come back to my bots, that's that bot running there. So now I've got a total of nine bots. At the moment it's showing a loss, but that's because it's just place to trade and it's got to obviously take into account the trading fee that's being charged on Binance so it's got to move up to at least one and a half percent before the robot starts looking at closing that trade out and then opening up a new one so that's how easy it is to set up a trading robot inside EasyBot